Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 11th of 2022. Well, it is titled Gravity's Grin. So what do we see here? Well, what looks like an image of a face out in space. And this is in reality an example of gravitational lensing. Now this was something predicted by Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity over a 100 years ago, uh, where it was said that gravity will deform space around it. And the light traveling through that space will then follow a nonlinear path because it will follow the shortest path in that deformed space. So what that means is when light passes close to a massive object, it gets bent. And the more massive the object, the more greater the bending. So here we see some of that bending, although this was first seen in stars close to the sun during an eclipse a near 100 years ago, and looking at those and noting that they were changed their positions. So it was a great triumph for general relativity making this prediction that gravity could bend light. Now when it's bent through the light of this cluster and we see the galaxies kind of making up some of the two of the galaxies making up eyes for this space, then we get the distortions and the uh, de uh, galaxies showing around it. So they don't look like normal galaxies, they're quite stretched out. And we see them as arcs. So they are actually much more distant galaxies that are then lensed by the intervening cluster uh, that gives us these unusual images. If you had a very strong source of gravity and everything lined up perfectly, you would actually get a complete ring of material visible around the gravitational source. However, since the gravi gravitational source is not quite that symmetric and is uh, everything is not lined up perfectly, we just get partial ring arcs here. But they are images and sometimes multiple images of the same galaxy where the light has traveled different paths around this galaxy cluster to reach us. Now the blue color, uh, sorry, the purple color is actually x rays. So when we look at these galaxies, we're seeing the intense x rays from the galaxies themselves as they are merging together. So we get the intense x rays. And that's what we're looking at in the purple. The purple is the x ray. And then we have the underlying visible light image that we see as well. Now this is also helps to tell us the mass of the galaxies and clusters. And what we have found is that there is far more mass that is unaccounted for but there has to be a larger amount of mass in order to account for the bending of light that we see by this cluster. And it leads us to the concept of dark matter matter that does not give off any kind of light and that means any kind of electromagnetic radiation from radio waves to visible light to x rays and gamma rays and anything in between. So it's completely dark to us. We cannot see it with any type of telescope. And therefore, it only interacts gravitationally. So it adds to the gravitational force here. It adds to the mass of this cluster. But it does not add to the light in any sense. So it doesn't give off any visible light or x-rays or radio waves. So the only way we can detect it is through its gravity. And that is helps us to understand that when we see a cluster like this, for every galaxy that we see, there can be 20 or 30 or 50 galaxies worth of matter in this dark matter that we cannot see. So that the vast majority of the matter in the universe is actually made up of dark matter that we cannot study through ordinary methods. So that was our picture of the day for May 11th of 2022. It was titled Gravity's Grin. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class. <laughs>